we are doing a box from Israel. It's called the Artsa box. And it's from the Judean desert region. Right. And uh, before we get into that, I'm Cindy. This is my sister, Debbie, and we're Sisters and Stitches. Welcome to our channel. We've done this box for you before yes, if you haven't yeah. seen it. And um, they graciously sent us another box to preview. Mm -hmm. And um, it's kind of fun because they're going to be different regions. Like we just did Jerusalem. Jerusalem. So this one is the Judean Desert. And it's kind of nice because Cindy and I are... Um, Christian. Christian women, and we we're, we read about these regions from the Bible, and we have Bible studies, so it's kind of fun to get products from those regions to see. Right, and the whole concept of this box, the arts box, is that it's $75 a quarter, so it's once every three months, and it brings the land of the Bible to your doorstep, the subscription box that follows in the footsteps of Jesus and supports the people of Israel by delivering the best artisan foods, crafts, and content from across the Holy Land. And we do have a code to get 20% off your first box if you're interested. So here is the little poster that they put in there from the Judean desert. And then they kind of like give you a brief description on what it's like. And then those are all the different products. Yeah. So. And so we get all these cards about the people, the artisans themselves, and then about and the, the products, products. Yeah, in the boxes. So. so you get plenty to read about all these products. Yeah, so too. I'll just give you a brief synopsis when Debbie pulls it out okay, of the, the box. The first thing we have is some um, ground roast coffee. Yes, this is fresh Israeli coffee from Agro. Wow, I can Cafe, smell this. A the new paper. artisan an artisan coffee roaster in Israel committed to helping coffee growers around the world using unique new Israeli roasting methods. You can smell it right through the paper. Yeah, I'm not a coffee person at all. So I drink it in the mornings. But do you have a regular one. coffee pot? Oh, okay. All right, good. Then you'll be able to use that. Okay, the next thing they have is relaxing basalts from the Dead Sea. Ooh. That is super cool. It is, um, you can smell it? I can smell it. That's awesome. She had COVID and she's just now getting back her smells. So this is the mm. Dead Sea bath salts by Yonat Midbar, a former PhD scientist who moved to the Judean desert from Tel Aviv to pursue her dreams and passions mm. and opened a natural cosmetic company. Let me see if I can find a picture wow, of her. Wow, that smells so good. Yes, I think this is... Yeah, there's the bath there salt. There you go. That's who developed the bath salts. Look at how big this is. Did you show them inside? Mm -hmm, I did. Oh, you can okay. show them again. Wow, that does smell really good. We're going to have to split that. You can take that. No, it's... Oh, it's... What it... It's got kind of like a eucalyptus kind of. I'm picking up some kind of fruit. That's why I can smell it. Oh, maybe. Okay. There's like a melon or something in there. Very nice. Okay. The next thing we have is salt. From the Dead Sea. This is, I oh, it's know. rosemary gold leaf cooking salt. A unique and incredibly tasty seasoning from 424 Salts, a small business near the Dead Sea. Enjoy this extra special sparkle with your natural salt from the Dead Sea, the lowest place on earth. I mean, it's just, it's salt with rosemary in it. Yeah. Well, that would be good if you like rosemary. That's unique. So it's salt from the Dead Sea. And it's a grinder, so you're grinding it. Oh, nice. The next thing is this. Let's see. Oh, this is just like a, a little plaque. You could use it as a coaster or you can hang it up and it just says Shalom on it. And this is by a handmade ceramic Shalom wall tile framed in Israeli grown olive wood from our talented and beloved artisan Jamil Hash. That's kind of fun for decorating purposes. Mm -hmm. And then we've got a jar of something. It's probably honey. It's date honey. Pure date honey. A sweet and delicious syrup from our friends of the incredible Lynn Farm. And you can make this Sicilian date cake using it. 
and they've got the recipe on the back. Wow, <coughs> taste that. <coughs> it tastes like dates. Yeah, it doesn't taste like honey. It does taste, it reminds me of Pine Brothers cough drops. No, your sense of taste is off. I'm telling you. Look at this bread though, doesn't it Pine look Brothers. great? I'll have to make that. That looks wonderful. The next thing we have is the Dead Sea Scrolls, Treasures of the Bible. All right, let's see what that is. This stuff, I'm sorry, but this, like, they eat dates a lot over there and figs and stuff. Oh, well, you like Fig Newton, so you're going to love it. Yeah. That. It holds the and Dead for our sea. premium subscribers, a gorgeous handmade ceramic olive oil jug designed to evoke the spirit of the Judean desert. And they have the Dead Sea Scrolls in there. How cute is that for decorating? Oh, then that's not what it is. Oh, maybe you can put olive don't take oil that in yeah, here. Don't take that out. Those are the Dead Sea Scrolls. Oh, very cute. And you can read all about them. We don't want to hold up that's these That's very eyes, cool. Yeah. One last thing that they have in the box. I'm not sure what this is. Handmade in Israel ceramicssomething.com Yeah, I think that that's the olive oil jug. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's olive cute. Oil. That's really cute. Yeah. And here's his name. That's really cute because I don't like having the, you know, olive oil jars out on the counter. That's but really that's cute. cute. Got to be careful, though, just so you know, when it's made of this stone and you have granite countertops, Stone scratches stone, so you got to be careful that you either put something underneath this or keep it off your granite. All but right, so really that cool. is this quarter's box from the Judean Desert. I love the fact that they give you <clears throat> pictures of the artisans, their stories behind it. They use all local Israeli companies in the desert or in the region that they're doing this month. I like this box. I like the uniqueness of it. I mean, where else can you get this? We've had a couple of boxes from other countries and none of them compare to this one. This yeah. is the best um, country box we get. Yeah, we've had some from Scotland and Ireland and they we just okay. kind of like- and the one from Germany was- <sighs> But what? yeah, I, I really like this box and I'm very thankful that she sends it to us for review each quarter. What do you guys think? You know what? I seriously, I, I do love Fig Newton. Cindy will love I am going spread to make, toast in the morning. I am going, well, how many calories are in here? 60 calories in a tablespoon. That's just like funny. But I'll make this bread for the next time Debbie and I are filming. I'll just make it and freeze it when she, I know she's coming over to film next. Let me see it. Is that it looks it good. It just looks like, almost like a pumpkin bread with nuts in it. Mm. It's like a date cake, so it's going to be like like fruit cake. Yeah. All right, what'd you guys think? Isn't this one of the better country boxes, like Debbie said? I think it's great. Yeah. Absolutely great, so. We like, we usually like all the products in there. And it's nice that it's coming from the different regions, you know? Yeah, and I can't wait to see what's coming next. All right, let us know what you think. See if you like this box, is it worth you know, the money, the $75 a quarter to get these products over from Israel. And I don't know. I really like these bath salts, though. I'm telling you. And everything is unique. Yeah. That they sent. You know, these are all products. This is from the Dead Sea, the lowest point on earth. That alone. These are from the Dead Sea. Salt from the Dead Sea. That Jesus walked there. This pure date honey. I'm not a big fan. I don't have a lot of taste buds, but she loves figs, like Fig Newton, anything fig. So she's going to love this. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And then the olive oil container, the coffee, the art decoration. I mean, it's all so nice. I like it. I think it's an awesome box. Yeah. I love seeing um, things from different areas, just like we used to get those state boxes. Mm -hmm. You know, that was fun seeing what different states offered. So countries is even better. All right. Well, thanks That's for tuning think. in. Anyway. Yeah, absolutely. And um, anything that can bring the Bible to life, I'm all for it. So. Me too. All right. Thanks for tuning in, ladies. We appreciate it. And shalom. we don't take it for granted. And yes, shalom. Shalom. Bye-bye.